This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. This, this isn't snow. What is this? Oh God, volcanic ash. Mr. Can you... What's going on here? They're acting like I wouldn't be here. Please, can you open the gates, mister? that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church.
I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. This must be the tincture of the sun. Those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. It seems that the doors are being held shut by some mystical force. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left, the crystal seems to be alive.
be possible. What a peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. But what they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. This must be the essence of Earth. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who, who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of time. My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God, or destroy my very being.
You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There, the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then, they would drive a wooden stake through its heart. The exorcism was a mistake. Now, I can clearly see. David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness.